What's up everybody, it's your boy CB back after another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over different build tutorials, mainly ramp pushes, 90s, double 90s, that kind of stuff. And then I'm also going to be doing a locker reveal, that's going to be the second half of the video. I'm going to go through all my skins and all my stuff. But so basically I'm just going to show you guys a different build tutorial and I'm going to explain how I do it and tips on how to do it better. A lot of these are somewhat beginners, so first we just have a basic ramp push with a, a ramp floor wall. Probably the first thing you learn as you become like better at building. So you just obviously place the ramp and then you place the floor and then the wall and you place the floor and the wall about as you're reaching the top of the ramp. Next up we have a tunnel. This is probably the first tunneling method you might want to try. It's also pretty beginner. You basically just place the floor and then you keep like an angled look down and then you place the wall and then a, the sterile place over you. It's really good in end game because it only uses 30 mats per like box. Next up is another tunneling method which you should practice after you have that last one down. This one obviously is a lot more difficult than the last one and I'm still not the best at it so I still I still practice it a lot because I need to get better at it. So what I did to help me get better at this one was I have a floor button on my screen. So after I make the edit, instead of tapping the build button, I just tap the floor button and it goes straight to the floors. Next up, I have double ramp floor wall, which took me a little while to learn, but once you can do it, it feels easy. So that's just the 90 into it. And then, so you place the two ramps and, and then you place the floors in the wall. It's just like the ramp floor wall, but you're just moving your screen around while you do it. And the difficult part is just getting the timing right. So you guys can kind of see where I timed it. Next up, I have Spider Climb 90s. These are the 90s I practice if I am practicing 90s in creative just because, I don't know, I kind of like the way they feel. So yeah, it's just like a 90 except for you don't place that extra wall. And it just, it uses less mats and it feels way smoother. So as you can see, you just want to copy the way I'm looking when I do my, when I turn. That way it doesn't place extra walls and stuff everywhere. And you want to make sure you're staying near the very, very edge of the ramp. That's probably one of the difficult, more difficult parts of it. Next up, basic 90s. Everyone does these. If you can't do them, just practice them until you can, and eventually they'll seem super easy. I don't do them very often, so it kind of feels weird for me doing these type of 90s, just because... I never really practice these anymore, but this is like obviously not the best 90s ever, <laughs> so don't roast me too hard, but I mean, just do exactly what I'm doing in this order, and I'm sure you guys will learn how to do this if you can't already do this. I'm sure most of you watching can do a lot of these things already. And then I believe next up is double 90s, yeah. So it's basically just like the same thing, except for you have to jump, time your jump a little bit more different. What you're going to want to do is when you do these is make sure you get near the edge of the ramp before you make your jump. Like right there that wasn't the best. And then you kind of just run through the next 90 and the better you get at it the smoother and quicker it'll be. So it's basically just doing two 90s but with one jump. That's why it's called double 90s. But you guys can see kind of how I'm doing it. It's like just like 90s but a little bit different. I hope that these tips were helpful for you. If you have any individual questions about any of the methods or things I was showing in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'll reply to all the positive, like, normal comments. I don't reply to hate comments and that kind of stuff because I don't like to give attention to that. But just if you have questions, let me know. I hope this was a helpful video for you. If you're interested in my locker, now I'm going to be showing you all the stuff in my locker. But if you're not, that's fine. <laughs> So yeah, I hope this was a good, was a helpful video for you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.